What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I keep moving around. I'm sorry the background keeps changing, but I'm just, I'm so, it's not that I'm indecisive. It's that I want to be comfortable like while I'm filming. So I don't know why I'm super comfortable sitting on the floor and talking because then I don't feel like I'm trying to hurry up and get out what I want to say. I feel like when I'm sitting like here, we're just like chilling. We're having a conversation. We're hanging out, figuring stuff out figuring out the ways of the world. But yeah, so let's jump right into another video. I have a huge pet peeve, you guys, and it is people hearing something and then running with it without knowing what they're talking about. So it's like they're not, they hear something and they're like, oh my God, yeah, that makes sense. Runs off and starts telling people. You're actually, <laughs> you heard it wrong. <laughs> like this is, okay, so let me just, should you detach from the 3D? There are so many manifestation videos. There are so many people out there telling you, I think it's mostly like law of attraction that's saying, uh, detach from your desire and it will come quickly. Um, set it and forget it. No, <laughs> stop, stop it right now. Stop it right now, seriously stop. Do not set anything and forget anything. Do not forget anything. You should never, ever rule number one detach from your desires why why would you even entertain the thought why would you even pretend you're lying to yourself why would you want to pretend that you don't care if you have something or not why would that bring something to you faster why would that bring something to you at all if you don't want it? Isn't the whole point of manifesting your desire, choosing something that you want to have in your life and bringing it into fruition because you desire it? So with, with that logic, why the fuck? Sorry, not sorry. Why the fuck would you pretend that you don't want it and expect yourself to get it? That's dumb. I'm sorry, but that is literally dumb. <laughs> first things first, let's just relate this to like specific person manifesting a relationship because I feel like this is probably the biggest um, thing that people are saying, like uh, take them off the pedestal, detach from that person and then they'll come back. I think that's like one of the biggest um, things around the topic that's kind of keeping this as something that tends to make sense to people and why people tend to think that they should detach. We are conditioned to believe that when somebody rejects you, when somebody ignores you, they're suddenly in power and we want what we can't have. So we're giving our power to somebody that is rejecting us. We want somebody more when they don't want us. Let me be straightforward with you right now. Ignoring does not put you in control. Ignoring literally relinquishes control. Detaching relinquishes control. Do you know how you gain control? Reaching out and grabbing the situation by the throat. That's control. I'm sorry I'm yelling. <laughs> Stop giving your power to a disconnect. That doesn't even make sense. If you actually think about that, what we have been brought up to think that is literally so stupid reaching out and grabbing the situation is control it is grabbing the situation and saying you're gonna go this way you're gonna go this way it's like taking someone's hand and leading them reaching out even nonchalantly is control i'm not saying i am not saying to put your hands in the 3d and mess with the 3d i am not saying that i am saying Maybe follow, you know, what the, the way of the world, how the way of the world thinks. Maybe follow that in the 3D on the outside. Act like you don't care. But in your mind, keep persisting for what you want. What you put your focus on is what grows. So that's, you keep affirming. You keep telling yourself you're going to get what you want. You keep living in the state of having that what you want. You don't sit there and turn your back on it and, and say, uh, no, I'm ignoring you. <laughs> I don't want you. Is it here? Waiting for them to like tap on your shoulder. 
waiting for your desire to come like reaching around. No, you're just going to keep looking. That doesn't work. The only reason you think it might be working is because you keep slightly putting your focus on it. You know that you still want it. So eventually you get it. Eventually. Let me put this in a more clear way. If two people are both detached, say you, your person is ignoring you, they're detached from you. So you're going to put on, you know, what? I'm going to detach from my desire, even though I want them. Well, I got to let go of it and it'll come. If two people are detached from each other, what the hell kind of force do you expect to reattach them back together? There's nothing bringing them together there. It's like a magnet, opposing magnet. What <laughs> detachment actually meant? So like when somebody first started speaking about this rule, um, before it got picked up and carried off and scattered, or like that telephone game where you whisper something in someone's ear and then you keep going and then you find out at the end that it was horribly misconstrued into something completely different, what detachment meant in the, or the original player of the telephone game? It means detach from your 3D circumstances. Detach from the 3D evidence that is showing you everything that you don't want to accept. Detach from that $0 bank account balance when you're manifesting millions. But don't detach from the fact that you want millions and you don't care if you get the millions or not. Don't pretend that you don't care. You care or you wouldn't desire it. But you're gonna look at that bank account and detach from their reality, put a blindfold on, this is just my 3D reality, and I am detached from the circumstances. This is this person, my specific person, is sitting there telling me the exact opposite of what I wanna hear, of what I want, but I've got blinders, I can't hear you, la la la, yeah, smile, it. smile and wave, boys, not along. Okay, yeah, that's what you want, yeah, okay, cool. In your mind, don't, Fucking no, uh, no, in your mind, you keep going. In your mind, you keep seeing what you want to see and you detach from the, what your five senses are showing you. That is the opposite. That's the only thing you're detaching from. If you don't see what you want, that does not mean that you have to accept it. That is your power as the creator. That is your power as God, as the universe. You've already created all of these circumstances as God, as the universe, as the creator, as source. You've already created everything. Creation is finished. You're choosing the reality. You're choosing what you want to accept. If things aren't looking the way that you want them to look, you're in the wrong reality. Detach from that and go into the one that you want to be in. Don't detach from what you want. Then you're just going to stay in that reality that you don't want to be in. Circumstances can change at any time. People change their minds all the time. You can think something one day and literally wake up and have a completely different belief. You can hate someone one more one evening wake up in the morning and realize that you hated them because you're actually in love with them it's like stuff like that don't get attached to what you see don't get attached to the 3d circumstances but keep your focus on your desires yes do not detach from your desires this is what neville goddard says this this is probably what the beginning thing was that started people from talking about this in the first place, take your attention away from your problem and the multitude of reasons why you cannot achieve your ideal. Concentrate your attention entirely upon the thing desired. Did he say to turn your back on your desire? Did he say to detach from your desire? No, he said, concentrate your attention entirely upon the thing desired. Take it away from the problems, the problems and the multitude of reasons, everything that comes up in your brain that's telling you, no, you can't have this. Take your attention away from those reasons why you can't have it and put them on the thing. 
put them on the fact that you have it anyway. Circumstances do not matter. Take it away and keep persisting. Detaching is just wavering. It's you thinking that you can't have it. So you're thinking of other way, other, it's just another technique that you think is going to bring you your desire. It's you wavering. Stand firm in what you want. Just give it three days. It's the magical number that's always been told three days to get your desire. If you stand completely firm in your desire, you will have whatever you want within three days. So just give it three days of fully focusing on it and then come back and tell me not just if it happened, but tell me how you feel now. Because now you're going to be in the state that can actually attract the thing that you want. No wavering and it is yours. No wavering and the money is yours. No wavering and the person is yours. No wavering and you got a new car, you got a new house. No wavering. No detaching. No not caring if it shows up. No this or something better. No this. Only this. I don't care. I don't care what I see. I don't care what you tell me. I don't care what anybody says. Only this. Only this. You're feeling lack because you don't have the thing that you want and you're trying to let go of the lack to feel better. Instead of doing that, step into the reality of complete fulfillment. Step into the reality of having the thing that you want. Not trying to attract the thing that you want but being it instead of saying SP loves me. He's conforming to me right now. Be it. I am in a loving, committed relationship. Stop trying to attract things and be them. Be what you want to see. Step into the state of having. Stop creating the lack that it's on the way, it's not here yet, whatever, and be it. If you want it, it is here. Stop reacting out of desperation. Stop looking for the best technique. Realize who you are. Realize you are limitless. You are not bound by rules for anyone to tell you to detach. You do not have to do that. And does that make you feel good to walk around pretending that you don't care? Or does it make you feel better to walk around pretending that you have it and you are it and you're experiencing it now? Because I can tell you if I am pretending that I don't care whether it happens or not, I am literally constantly looking, looking, looking for signs synchronicities, BBLs. I'm looking for something to show up in my face and reaffirm to me that it's coming anyway. But when I walk around knowing who the fuck I am, I feel on top of the world, which is exactly where you should feel at all times. You're God. You are on top of the world. You are the world. Your wish fulfilled does not manifest into your future. It is here and now, or it is nowhere at all. So be specific about what you want. Capture the feeling of having what you want and live there. Now, stand in conviction that everything is unfolding perfectly for you, no matter what you see. No matter what you see in the 3D, It is all unfolding for you. And you know what? It doesn't even have to unfold because it already is. You can change whatever you want. You can have whatever you want. You can have your desires. Now, don't detach from them. Don't look away from them. I'm begging you, do not put attention away from your desires. What you focus on grows. Remember that. That's how you've manifested your entire world thus far. Go get what you want. Go get it.
Guys, I got so heated today. I don't know why. I think that one really bothers me. I don't like when people are hindering other people's progress and telling them dumb shit that doesn't make sense. And now you got all these people who could be getting what they want, who could be living the dream that they want. And now they're just confused and they're trying all this stuff that doesn't even make sense because somebody's telling them to who's who, who knows what they're talking about. Like, but if you actually like sit there and think about it, like, come on. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions, concerns, anything you want to say, any advice, anything like that, leave it in the comments or you can reach out to me via the Dropbox below. I have my Instagram on there, email, anything like that. So yes, I will see you guys soon for another video. Okay, bye.